Fishing. It's relaxing. It's slow. It allows for a pensive moment of self-reflection. Almost like video games, in a way. Unless you're playing a video game without fishing. But why would you? I mean, why, why would you? Why the hell would you? I'm gonna be real with you. <laughs> fishing in video games might be one of my favorite things in the medium when done correctly. When it's in minigame form, I've found that that's the part of the game that I sink the most hours into. It's another fishing pun. It's, it's my second fishing pun. Whether I'm looking for an elusive loach in the Green Man's 64 Trials, or trying not to get fucking murked in Sasuke's VR Fishtopia, it's a pleasure to sit back, see how many different fish I can catch, and what kind of rewards I can get for them. But when it comes to games that exclusively deal with catching these little sea rats, I've found that more times than not, they're simulation games. I mean, don't get me wrong, nothing compares to the thrill of playing the Black Bass, Super Black Bass, or Bassin's Black Bass with Hank Parker. But those are still all simulation games. I couldn't really find any pure fishing games that were as fantastical as some of these mini-games are. So today let's change that. You and me, we're gonna design a fishing game. First things first, we gotta talk visuals. In the vein of games like Omnibus or Devil Daggers, I'd really like to use some faux PS1 type graphics. I think this would allow us to shove in as much as we possibly could on our assumed mid-tier indie budget. To add to that, the music is going to be some Sonic Adventure Dreamcast type shit. I'm just talking butt rock and ska. Obviously because the game is entirely focused on catching fish, the best environment to have it be in would be... An island! <laughs> this would allow us easy access to places where you can normally catch fish, like beaches or rivers, and also give us access to some crazier environments like volcanoes or quicksand or the clouds. Another pretty obvious given is that we're going to have a really large variety of fish. On top of a handful of regular real-world boring fish, we'll have hot and spicy fish that you can only catch in volcanoes, flying fish that you can only catch in clouds, and dumb and stupid fish that you can only catch in dumb and stupid areas. For the story, I'm thinking something light and fun. Let's say you're a kid on the island around the age of 11, and your fisherman dad went out to sea to catch this mythical sea monster. Unfortunately, he never came back. Everyone in town believes he's dead except you. So after a little bit of exposition, you then find one of his old rods hidden in the back of your home. Then you gain access to the first location in the game, your pond in the backyard. Then our primary gameplay loop will be focused on catching and selling these fish at the market in order to get access to new areas. Along the way you'll make friends with other locals and be able to do quests for them that'll give you new types of bait and new types of rods if you max out their friendship. Finally, you'll eventually gain the experience necessary to go out to the ocean and find out what happened to your father. If there's ever a game that'll truly top Fisherman's Bait 2, Big Old Bass, yay yay! I think it's this one. It may sound controversial, but I think this would do best on the Switch and the PC. That would allow us to gain access to our biggest target audience, kids, and reach the biggest amount of them. That's pretty much all I have stored in my gamer brain bank, but I'm throwing out the idea to anyone who's listening and who decides to make this game. If you think there's anything I'm missing, or if I'm just a big fucking doofus, let me know in the comments below and I'll probably respond. Bye!